What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man. How y'all doing today? Now I am just waking up. You can see I'm looking pretty tired. I stayed up pretty late last night. Um now I did have a problem last night. My uh batteries actually started to go dead on me. Um I don't know what's going on. I'm assuming um from the desert dust and stuff, my solar panels are probably filthy and haven't been taking in very good charge and i've been overusing the power and slowly draining it so we're gonna have to look up top i'm sure i'm gonna find that they're gonna be very dirty and i'm gonna have to wipe them down so let's go take a look at that all right if you take a look at that they're covered in a thick coat of dirt i'm gonna definitely have to clean this up guys it's gonna use a pair of shorts <laughs> it's uh some laundry that needs washing anyway but look at the difference if i wipe down there you can already see the difference right there so yeah we need to get some more sun on these panels guys all right next thing i need to work on is the uh solar panels being tightened down um when i originally put this system together i used the self-tapping screws what i didn't know is with vibration self-tapping screws back themselves out um yeah so i have to tighten those up i'm actually gonna put nuts and bolts in the in there eventually i have bought the nuts and bolts but i haven't actually put them in and i put some um thread locker in there and all that should stop me from having to constantly tighten those down uh again also i need to do an oil change today i'm gonna need somewhere flatter to do that i'm gonna need to get more solar on my panels so i'm gonna have to go out of the forest somewhere with more sun so i may go down to rye to do those things also i want to clean the front cab up a bit rear cab i'll get to another time but today i'd love to get everything out of the front cab and clean it all up wipe everything down make sure it's all dust free in the front there all right i'm gonna have some breakfast first though i'm starving all right guys so i just literally ran out of battery power on my solar i'm not getting any solar on my roof right now i'm at like 10 volts and that's where my cut out cut off is on the solar charger so it's cut all my power uh so yeah we need to get sun on the roof so we're gonna have to go leave camp earlier than i thought i was going to so i'll probably go down in the pace and get something to eat because i was in the middle of heating up some food when i lost power so <laughs> that's not gonna work um all right let's get going guys Alrighty, uh, excuse the hair, I just took my hat off. Um, I just finished eating that chilies. Feel much better now that I ate. Oh, I was starving. Uh, problem now is uh, I'm dealing with tons of Sunday traffic coming through here. Um, 
it is getting pretty warm. Um, it's going to be pretty warm in Rye, so I'm not looking forward to that. But I, I do need to do this oil change, so I don't want to do it in Phoenix. It's going to be even hotter there, so I think we're still going to go to Rye. The clouds have come out a little bit here in Payson, but it's not really, not really anywhere without driving outside Payson to the woods where I can do this. So. I think rye is my best shot, even though it's going to be like, it's going to be 86 there, so not crazy hot, but it's hot enough to make me a little uncomfortable. But as long as I can get some um, AC and a flat spot to do my oil change, uh, it's my best chance to get it done. So let's head on out. All right, guys, I made it to uh, rye. Whew. It is pretty warm out here, guys. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be changing the oil or anything in this heat. I'm going to definitely have to wait for it to cool down later in the evening because it's way too warm right now. So I think I'm going to hide in the van, leave the doors open, put the vent on. Hopefully it will be uh, cool enough in there to not have to run the AC because my uh, solar, again, is trying to charge back up. So I don't really have a lot of power right now to waste. I'm currently running the fridge off of my car battery just to try save that a little bit. I guess I could run the fridge off my power station, but I kind of want to keep my power station. It is actually charged now, but I want to keep it for if I, ooh, if I do have to use my AC and I run out of power, I need to run power off of that. So we'll see guys. All right, we will check back in, but I'm gonna probably lay down in bed and try to stay cool for a couple of hours till it cools down a bit. All right, it's still pretty hot, guys, but um, the clouds have come out, which has given me a brief break in the sunlight scorching me. I don't know how long they're going to be covering the sun for, so I think I'm going to try to get started on this uh, oil change as quick as I can. All right, just draining off the oil there. Next, we take that oil filter off over there and then uh, put the new oil filter on. And Alrighty, so we have drained the oil, put in the new oil filter, we just got to fill it back up. I am not perfectly level, so we're going to get as close as I can. It should be fine to drive back down tomorrow. I'll have pretty close to full. Um, oil and tomorrow I can actually uh, when I get it nice and flat fill it up the rest of the way it'll be pretty much full all right oil is done just draining it back into the empty containers now and that is it for the oil change Whew, it is quite hot I'm quite sweaty and I'm quite dirty so I think I might actually have a little shave and do like an outdoor shower just a quick one out here I don't know, we'll see how I feel, but I feel like I need a shower. We'll see. All right, I'm all shaved up. I'm gonna have a shower. Oh, or not, oh, I'm not, maybe I'm not gonna have a shower. The wind keeps blowing my damn shower curtain all over the place. I don't need to give everyone a show up on the highway here. Oh my Lord, this is terrible. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see guys, we'll see. Whew, he's working up a sweat doing this. All right, I've put some magnets on the side of the van and a ton of rocks to reinforce it. Let's see how we go with this. Now, I bought this new shower thing. It's like my last one. Kind of like, I didn't realize it didn't come with a hose connection though, so that kind of sucks. So we put all these rocks here as a top I'm gonna stand on. And I put a little bit of hot water in there, not much. It's still gonna be a cold shower, but it should do the trick, guys. All right, let's see how we go with this, guys.
All right, guys, so I was able to shower successfully. I think my only complaint so far with that, I mean, A, I ordered the wrong shower that didn't come with the hose attachment, so it uses way, way more water quickly. And this uh, foldable bucket, it's a 20 liter bucket. Uh, it's kind of white, so as I, it starts going through the water quickly, when it gets down to the bottom, because the pump sits down on the side once it gets there, it kind of struggles as the water gets low. So something more narrow and tall, I think would be better for my needs. But then again, storing it is also the issue. <laughs> but other than that, I had a very, very brief, quick shower. It was good enough to get myself cleaned and up enough. And obviously I'll be back in town tomorrow. So I'll be going to Planet Fitness tomorrow. But there's a handy setup to have for uh when you're in a bind and you really need a shower after getting oil and dirt all over me and sweating all day i uh, really needed that shower so that was a definite uh, definite luxury right there i enjoyed that all right so it's sun setting now sun's going down i don't have much time for much else I'm not gonna be able to do all the van cleaning that i hope to do oh well maybe next week i don't know we'll see um, all right, that's it for me. I'm gonna climb in, do a couple of things before I have to go to bed, and then back to Phoenix for work in the morning. Uh, I know it wasn't one of my most exciting videos, but hopefully you enjoyed just seeing what I get up to in a basic, boring day in the van life. Uh, getting shaved and showered and doing chores and such like that. Um, yeah, so until next time, this is Aussie Van Man, and we shall see you guys later. What's going on here?